thing that we can know from birds probably better than any meteorological instruments is, if we listen to them carefully, we would know the meteorological conditions or the weather patterns very well. Many studies have observed this. On the banks of Ganga and also Narmada river, certain birds which nest very close to the water, by looking at where they build the nest at what height, people know whether this year there is going to be a flood or not. I'm saying the birds build this nest at least four months before monsoons. But they will build the nest much lower if the rains are not going to be too heavy and there's not going to be any flood. But if there is going to be a flood, they will build it way higher up. Just by observing this, traditionally people have always known this year it's going to flood, this year it's not going to flood. So obviously, before any of the normal uh, what our instruments can read in terms of meteorological conditions, before water vapor, temperature, other things manifest, already there are signs in nature which a bird is able to see. Probably among human beings, one creature who pays maximum attention to meteorological conditions is an aviator <laughs> A farmer to some extent, but much more an aviator because one who wants to fly is always watching out for the weather because that will decide whether you're going to fly or not, whether you will fly all the way to another world or you're going to land in this world. A lot depends on the weather. So, birds being avians, probably they have learned to pay attention to nature in terms of meteorological conditions like nobody else. There are many other aspects. One knows about the migratory patterns of the birds, very distinctly they know the weather patterns, otherwise they cannot uh, make this flight, long distance flights across continents. Maybe uh, ocean going people, that's why the pirates had a parrot, <laughs> they didn't have a GPS. <laughs> so reading weather patterns and wind patterns, one who has to fly, Today, our flight is powered by very brutally powerful engines. But if you were to power yourself just by your own wing, the wind patterns are paramount significance. If you don't know the wind, there is no way to fly. Uh, at a… at an early age when I started uh, wanting to fly hang gliders, sitting and observing the wind for days on end before you actually fly. <laughs> uh, I know how important the wind is, whether it takes you up or slaps you down uh, is a very… <laughs> very few people except aviators among humans understand the significance of wind, how even subtle changes in the wind will determine what happens to you, especially if you're doing mm, flight without… Mm, not powered flight, unpowered wing flight, if you do, you will see it's extremely important. Maybe kite flyers would also notice to some extent, but not to the same extent. So if one wants to know weather, definitely listening to birds would be great, maybe not all of them, those who soar in the sky, those who depend very much on rising in the sky without flapping their wings. All these birds have an enormous ability to know the weather patterns and the wind patterns.